player to be speaking to Champions League manager Robbie Simpson after defeat this afternoon against St Albans. Robbie, what do you make of that one this afternoon? I thought the better team won the game. I think um, both teams try and play a similar style, same formation, and they were just better at every department of the game than us today. Um, no qualms with the results. It was it was a it was a poor day from us really. Um, and a good day for them to speak to their manager. He said that's the best they've played this season and I think they looked like a side that just missed out on promotion last year. Um, I thought they were very, very good. Um, we couldn't get to... I feel like we were a bit passive in that, in that first half and our tempo was really slow. Um, when we did win it back, I didn't think we came alive. I didn't think we were brighter at all in that first half, which is disappointing. But we had quite a lot of territory. We had a, a number of corners. Um, and again, I felt like even when the, we had those corners, I felt like we were we were too slow to take them. We didn't we let them get back in and set up and get ready for what we were going to do. It was um, our tempo in that first half and in, intensity with the ball and, well, and without it just wasn't wasn't there at all. We were, we were passive, waiting for waiting for things to happen rather than making things happen. Um, so I was really disappointed with us really in that first half. Um, but second half, uh, I think we started really well. Um, we pressed high, we had intensity, we had a bit of bite about us. Um, we won it higher up the pitch and then we had a change of tempo. When we did win it back, we had people running um, towards their goal and and we have a moment obviously where you know, we have to uh, we have to make a better decision and 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 try and score or at least make the keeper work in that scenario and um, and then and then they go up the other end and a, a calamity from us really just um, leaving the ball to each other um, and and fair play they they capitalized they they were bright uh, they capitalized and um, you know when that happened uh, in from their keeper playing out or from from a loose ball up there and we nicked it we we had a too heavy a touch or made the made the wrong decision but um, their guy had a good touch and made the right decision and and a, and a tremendous finish from Sean obviously um, but yeah as much as I feel like they were the better team the first goal was a long range shot that there was one player on the move running towards the goal um, thinking what if and that was Sean Jeffers and and then it was a mistake from us so as much as they were the better team it, it's it's tough that they were the two goals that they scored but they deserved to win the game yeah they didn't they didn't create that much but they Sean Jeffers who scored I mean missed a one on one which I'm surprised by that and he scored two chances from from not much really yeah I think the one on one in the first half sort of typified our first half performance to be honest with you we were just um, it looked like their brains were, were cloudy they weren't thinking what happens because they just quickly one possession back or there's a loose ball and they hooked it over the top and no one's anywhere near Sean Jeffers he's ran through two of our defenders um, without anyone anywhere near him and and Josh has done really well to make him put it wide actually um, but that typified our first half performance really I don't think there was it didn't feel like there was much communication or people encouraging people to to get close to people and have a bit of bite and and dominate, um, yeah, we we weren't at it as as they say we weren't at it in that first half. But we did have a lot of territory and a lot of set pieces. Um, but even on those set pieces, I didn't think we were at it. I didn't think we looked like we were hungry or confident um, that we were going to get in the on the end of it and get it in the back of the net. So yeah, it was a really disappointing first half. And like I said, I thought we had a reaction at the start of the second half and. Um, we have a moment, and and then quickly it turns into a, a long afternoon for us. When it's when they're playing that well, two 0 up, it turned into a long afternoon for us. And what was the the sort of discussion on how we sort of get over this sort of league slump? I suppose the three losses in a row in the league. So what was the discussion afterwards, and how we can pick up again in the league because we were doing so well before this run? Yeah, stick together. Yeah, you're right. It's almost like one loss has knocked us for six. Like confidence-wise, um, people are. And not wanting to make a mistake rather than rather than be the person that takes the the game by the scruff of the neck and be the difference it's um it's tough you know that's why it, it, it happens quite often but we um we need to get the lads we need to stick behind the lads because it's still been a good start don't get me wrong like 1.5 points a game from the first 10 when the, when the fixture list came out you know i'd have been pretty happy with that so we're um 
we're in a good place. We we need to get our confidence back up, like it was for the first seven games. Um, we need to get the players knowing that they are really good players, top players at this level, um, and producing performances like we did at, at Torquay, um, which was probably our best performance of the season so far, um, even though we didn't come away with any points. And yeah, it's just it's just about getting their confidence back up, getting them a bit. Um, Perhaps a bit hungrier, I guess, that you know, every second counts in, in a football match. Absolutely every second counts and as much as as much as they they get on as, as people, when you cross over that white line you need to make sure people are on it and people are aggressive and, and not worried about falling out with people and not worried about making mistakes. Um, that's where we need to get to. And a, a good distraction, the FA Cup next Saturday against Bromsgrove. So looking forward to that one now to sort of uh, go out of the league and, and concentrate on the cup. Yeah, well, it's a chance for people to uh, to show me that they are they are the person that I should pick. You know, it's a real chance for for everybody now because that was probably our worst performance of the season, particularly in that first half. But um, well, it definitely was our worst performance of the season overall, for sure. Um, so it's it's a chance for whoever plays next Saturday to to show me that they're the man. You know, they're the man to take the game by the scruff of the neck, and they're a leader on the pitch, and they make people around them play better and feel more confident. So. It's, it should, they should be really excited to play next weekend. Okay, unlucky today. Simo will move on to the Cup next Saturday. Cheers, Ben.